we want a stable government. That one, everybody in the state is looking at, not only we, even all the people in Raqqa. We cannot afford to have another uh, shift again. Because uh, during the last two years, uh, uh, because of the instability uh, uh, and the pandemic together, uh, you know, we tourism players are left alone. Uh, not much assistance has been given apart from the penjana from the national side. The state only like for us, uh, travel agent, uh, give her 1,000 ringgit. I think not enough your salary also. Uh. <laughs> yes. And also the association, two associations were given uh, uh, 5,000, 5,000. Three associations was given 5,000, 5,000. Mm. Other states are given more than that. Mm. Uh, so we hope that the new government will look into this also. Uh, what type of assistance they can give it to us. And we are also very disappointed at that time because Malacca, you know, they got the heritage tax. Heritage tax, the Tua one. Heritage, okay. Ah, you see, other states, ah, they have these other charges, fee charges, ah, they waive. Except for Malacca. Mm. <laughs> ah, we have appealed, but didn't get it. Oh, and another note is like, especially for the uh, hotel industry, ah, where assessment is very high. So we did also appeal to the state, uh, if you got no money, reduce the assessment. Lima uh, flow percent or wait it for the next two years. Uh, uh, that time we are talking about uh, 2220 and 21. Uh, now it's over, so now we are looking at 21, 22. Uh, because the business is, have not picked up to what it is. So we hope the state government can look into this to reduce our cash flow because the assessment uh, is nearly taking a toll because nearly on the average uh, good time is about one month uh, one month uh, uh, one month income mm. if we mm. can achieve the income that's right. how they calculate right. so we got this and then hopefully the state can come up with a bit of grant or bank mm. grant like what the national is given